now to the crypto market with Ladi. Well, Ladi, Bitcoin dropping below $30,000 packs fears of another mm. crypto winter. But it looks like the bulls aren't worried. I was listening <laughs> to an expert this morning and he says Bitcoin's fundamentals are good. And the market conditions in 2021 are very different than the last big crypto crash in 2018. In other words, we are far from a bear market. Do you well, share this view? Well, that's what uh, most of them, uh, the analysts are saying. But, you know, if you experienced uh, the last uh, bull market and, when you, and uh, the bear markets that uh, happened after, you would know that it looked similar to this. You know, there was still optimism that, oh, Bitcoin would you know, recover at some point. But uh, a two-year or three-year bear market ensued after that. But, you know, that we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyway, right now, it's fear. Extreme fear in the market at 14 uh, points today. Uh, $1.36 uh, trillion market cap is up about 3.18%. Uh, uh, 24 hour volume, $154.66 billion traded, up by 18%. Bitcoin dominance is still uh, inching up there at 46.74%. Uh, 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 let's uh, bring in uh, Rume Ofi now, uh, digital market analyst. Hello, Rume. Okay, looks like we, we'll, we'll try and get uh, Rume uh, back again. Uh, Bitcoin this morning, $33,943. Uh, after breaking uh, that uh, 30K. Our region and getting as low as $28,000. A lot of fear in the market when that happened, but it's uh, recovered now, up about uh, 3.75 above the 30K region again. 24 hour volume, $63.59 billion traded. Price of Ethereum, $2,005 this morning, up 3.10%. Uh, volume traded, $37.59 billion traded. In Ethereum this morning. Let's uh, look at the chart. First low was $28,000 and recovered uh, back to the 33K uh, region this morning. We still have the MACD in uh, bearish uh, territory right now. Histogram is also forming in the bearish uh, momentum on the one day chart. But we have some volume coming in here. So the bulls are defending uh, this region with their lives at the moment. Top alt by market cap. See some alts also recovering there. Uh, BNB, touched about two, right below $250 yesterday. Back at uh, $290, uh, dollars up 2.27%. Cardano is also back up at 6% uh, percent at $1.27. And Dogecoin, the king of the memes, 21 cents, up 7% this morning. XRP still below the $1 mark at uh, 65 cents, up 6.29%. Uh, percent. Top five gainers. We have uh, Silo there. $2.37 up 26%. LPT is up at uh, 17%. Solana. Solana doing good this morning. Uh, up 15%. H&T up 13%. And Com up 12%. So it's funny how yesterday the top five gainers were stable coins. Showing that uh, traders were running into the stable coins because of fear of losing uh, value in sats and uh, dollars. Uh, I think we have Rume now. Hello Rume. Good morning, good, good morning, Rumi. Great to have you. Well, uh, it's China all over again. Same thing happened uh, 2017, uh, 2018 uh, bull run. China clamped down. But uh, I'm wondering this time, is China really done with crypto? I, I think um, all of these are happening because of the uh, Yuan that uh, has been uh, passed out there. Uh, it's already been tested in five um, province in China, then as well as um, their product, they are just interested in their own stuff, you know. But uh, I think this is not the first time, 2014, they, they came up and it was uh, 1,200 at that time, the price of the Bitcoin it went to about 220, was actually the worst. And then, I think this one was uh, is really huge and I think it's an opportunity for them to be a global player in the, the blockchain space. You know, uh, all of them telling miners to leave, a lot of them going to Pakistan, Texas in the U.S., and um, Amer um, some other states like Maryland in America. So uh, the U.S. can actually position itself to be a global leader in emerging technology, and China is really losing out when it comes to what is going on. But this is really huge, and I think 
uh, it's, um, it's a disadvantage for the average uh, tech guy that is involved in blockchain space and games that are hardly out of Bitcoin, most especially. So it's, it's a win win situation for the people because the idea of this technology is to make uh, individuals actually okay. do finance uh, or get involved in transactions freely. All right, Rumi, is it, is it better to just pack it up and expect the bear market? Uh, I, I can't say this is a bear market because we've seen worse situation. The COVID era, we saw uh, a $9,000 market go to about 3500 market. So uh, the fact that we, uh, well, we bounced back yesterday from uh, to $39,000, uh, it was very scary, you know, but one thing I always tell people is that uh, at least these emotions that have to play in is the game of common sense. And very soon, we're going to be back. But the odds the are really big and really high, and a lot of blessings get the rest. Most especially those from the main points and community. At some point, I said immediate silence for those having dodged uh, in, in their wallets because uh, the bot still can eat and now it's still can work. Okay. It's really terrible. Okay. All right, Rumi. Thank you so much. Yeah. Always great to have Thank you on the program. Yeah. Yeah, Jimmy. So there you have it. Maybe, yeah. uh, I mean, if, if you want to play in the market, you look at um, the stable coins instead of packing it up. Because I guess true. Um, uh, there's a lot of bullish sentiment there, true, true. you know, towards um, this crypto market. Because and I guess it's market, just a it's... wait and see yeah. that, um, you know, the traders are doing right now. Exactly. And, of course, waiting and watching, you know, the regulators from the China. Yeah. You know, China is the key factor exactly. right now. China we'll running see everything. What happens <laughs> eventually?